I'm John Yang, and I'm a national correspondent for the PBS NewsHour. I've been a reporter for almost 40 years, both in print and in television. Uh, most recently, before I joined PBS, I was in the Midwest for one of the commercial networks. And during the recession, I did a lot of stories about people on the margins of society, the unemployed, the homeless, uh, people who are hungry. Uh, and that sort of really got me interested in, in giving sort of voice to the voiceless and telling stories of people uh, whose stories are not often told or whose voices aren't often heard. And that really is the theme of, of two, the two stories that uh, producer Frank Carlson and I shot in Missouri. Uh, the first one is about the, uh, the people who are mentally ill or have uh, drug abuse problems and find themselves uh, in the colliding with the uh, criminal justice system, sometimes because there's no really other place to take them. They're acting out, they're self-medicating, they collide with police because they're, uh, they're being disruptive, they're drunk in public, uh, uh, and oftentimes in a lot of places, there's no place to take them, either the emergency room or the hospital, but sometimes that's not really appropriate because they don't have a, 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 a a critical uh, injury or something that's pressing. So a lot of them end up in jail. They end up being arrested and being in the, in the courts. The other story we were doing in, uh, in Missouri takes a look at when poor people uh, encounter the criminal justice system. And that means a lot of times being represented by public defenders. The public defender system in, in Missouri is underfunded, overworked, we talked to a number of uh, public defenders, some of whom admit they realize they are not giving their clients the attention they deserve, the attention their cases need, uh, but they're doing the best they can. And, and so you've got defendants who are spending a lot of time languishing in jail, waiting for their cases to come to trial, waiting for their public defenders to, to help them. They're offered plea bargains, they could get out uh, on a time served sentence, but they've, then they've got a conviction. But they take the deal because they want to get out of jail. A lot of them are put on probation. It's very easy to break probation. You're sent back, they're sent back to jail and the whole process begins again. So you have these stories, these two stories of two marginalized populations, the mentally ill, uh, drug abusers, the poor, colliding with the criminal justice system and sometimes having very bad outcomes.